<laughs> it's not. That's huh? so funny. <laughs> All right, Louisa, we got some wind coming in and then some nice warm up for the weekend. Absolutely. In fact, we have some pretty windy weather just in time for the first day of winter, which is tomorrow. Uh, things start to turn around right now, though, sunny and mild temperatures in the 60s. We're kind of right where we should be around this time of year. And you can see this shot here. A uh, beautiful shot of the coast there at blue skies out there just mixed with a few fair weather clouds outside. But overall, pretty pleasant day. And, you know, this is really the temperatures are exactly where we should be right now. So staying in the 60s by tomorrow, we'll stay in the 60s too, but it's really those winds that are going to change things up a bit. So come this evening, you'll start to notice some gusty winds out there. That's going to continue through your Thursday and Friday. That's when we have those advisories in place. In fact, we have a high wind warning in effect for the mountains, including some of the valleys in Los Angeles and in Ventura County and the Santa Clarita Valley could get wind gusts up to about 60 miles an hour for your Thursday and into your Friday as well. We also have a wind advisory in effect for the rest of the forecast area, and that will actually last from your Thursday to your Friday as well. So we're looking at those winds there picking up to about 50 miles an hour. Those are those gusts and the peak winds look like they're going to kick into gear right around the early morning on your Thursday through the afternoon. So we have that big wind event for the next couple of days. And then after that, things start to shape up a bit. We're going to see lots of sunshine. We're still going to keep though clear conditions, which is going to allow for a lot of that heat to escape overnight, leaving us with some really cold overnight temperatures. It looks like though we are going to stay sunny all week that's going to continue into your holidays. In fact, we have a great Christmas forecast for you ahead of us. So right now temperatures into the low 60s. Looks like we could warm up maybe about a degree or so from that as we head into the afternoon. We have that ridge of high pressure just kind of settling into place here. But right behind that we have that low pressure system expected to drop down into the Great Basin. That's what's going to kick up those strong Santa Ana winds. So expect those winds to move in from the northeast and the north. That's going to last for your Thursday and your Friday. After that, though, as we head into the weekend, another ridge builds in. This one's actually going to bring us sunshine and warmer temperatures. So we could be talking about 70s. Not for tomorrow, though. Tomorrow we're going to keep those temperatures in the 60s. Looks like Santa Monica will top out right around 64 degrees. Same goes for downtown San Francisco. And as we head towards the coast, it looks like we're going to keep those temperatures in the low 60s as well. Up in Apple Valley, about 56 degrees. Ontario, right around 61. And Lake Forest will top out right around 63 degrees. We're going to keep those temperatures in the 60s through much of the Inland Empire. Riverside about uh, 63 degrees Palm Springs. So the Coachella Valley will warm into the upper 60s. And it looks like though for your Christmas, we're going to have those temperatures into the low to mid 70s. Plenty of sunshine, maybe a little bit breezy. Certainly nothing like the wind we're expecting to see though over your Thursday and your Friday and some cool evening and overnight temperatures. So for your five day, we show lots of sunshine straight ahead and you can see that warming trend as we head towards the weekend. We're going to keep those 70s around, not just for the holiday weekend, but it, to the weekend after to the week after that. So we'll hold on to those warm temperatures for quite some time. Back to you. Oh, sounds good.